Good What's his name? What's his name? It's Sylvester Stallone. Why don't you bring a friend back? That would be my pleasure. One of my fellow brothers in the hard R business. <laughs> a fellow who really does it right. An incredible man. Someone that I've really grown to respect over the years because he's not just physical, he's, he's a brilliant guy and very, very compassionate and a true one-of-a-kind movie star, the likes of which we'll never see again, my friend Arnold Schwarzenegger! Oh, 
get over yeah, to really. you. Yeah, really. Stop, go for a little bit. But I mean, to see you now, I, I walked into the gym Just in Bulgaria when you were working out, and I saw you know, the muscles that you have and the definition that you have and the just very little body fat, I don't know what it is, but 6%? Oh, uh, uh, no, 4.5%. 4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, yeah. But, uh, yeah. but it's really amazing to see you gaining this 20, 25 pounds of muscle so the last you know, few years and, and your acting is incredible. So it's really terrific. I'm very proud uh, uh, of working with you again and this is me here. So congratulations to the I can die now! <laughs> transition coming from the world of mixed martial arts and being a professional athlete and now trying to be considered a bona fide actor and certainly being on, on screen with these guys is a big step in the right direction but uh, I still think there's some hurdles there and I know that Arnold probably crossed some of those hurdles too. They just looked at him as a, as a bodybuilder, a world champion in bodybuilding and, and it wasn't until maybe some of those other movies where he really got to sink his teeth into playing those characters that they said, oh yeah, okay, that guy can really act. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm still looking for that. I think Expendables is a huge step in the right direction for me. Oh, that's outstanding. And then Dolph, I have to ask you, it's good to see you. Hey. punched him sly so hard that they had to fly him to a hospital. Uh, that's what I heard, I don't know. I will break you. What was, what, he was my boss and he said hit me and I did. And that was it. It's true, I, I thought let's go for some realism. Let's, for the first 30 seconds just try to knock me out. And he did. So, Tremendous ride. Oh, we got two more. Yeah, two more. Yeah, two more. Yeah, two more. Yeah. 
one of the great traditions in action films is this idea of like the team up. I mean, going back to Dirty Dozen and Magnificent Seven, the, that adds an extra energy to the film, I would imagine. Was that uh, a, kind of a fun thing for you? I think that that is fun, but it, it's, it, I have to stress again, it is so important that you work with the right people. And I think that we, as, as the, the Expendables, is so fortunate to have such great people like Dolph Lundgren, who comes from the martial arts background, who has been a champion. So he brings that kind of craft to the, to the, to the screen. So there's no one that has to train him now how to throw punches, how to do the kicks and all those things. He's the real deal. The same is with Van Damme. But the same is when you see Randy. I mean, Randy has been the greatest fighter, the UFC fighter. And so when you see him in an action film, and you see him in an action film, actually doing action and, and having those fights, it looks so wonderful. It's not something that has to be overly choreographed by a stunt coordinator or something like this. So this, I think, and, and Harry, you know, with his uh, football background, and, being such a great athlete. So this is what made it fun, is that each one had tremendous talents in their own field. And then to bring that and slide it such a good job to utilize not only the personalities of those characters and their acting abilities, but also their physical talent and their background that they had. So this was really terrific to work with that. And for me also it was great because we have been trying to work on the film for, for many, many years and finally this whole thing has come about because it's a natural for us to grow together. We have so many things in common. I mean, we love physical fitness and the muscles and we like action movies. Big and watch no one, big ring. No one big can watch. understand each one of us. <laughs> <laughs> so many, there's so many things that we come that this is absolutely wild. Because what no one knows is, by the way, and please turn off your uh, recordings and don't write the numbers this is off the record. But when I came to America 44 years ago, Sly was my English teacher. <laughs> so blame him for everything. No, man. Thank you. Gee, we should have a spelling bee someday. I don't know. We're really going to be amazing. Where did you guys meet? Uh, what was the first time you two met? Uh, I remember him as a Golden Globe. That's what I That's really right. remember. And he, I said, who is this guy? Like as big as the whole table. And like, <laughs> kind of like reading on my parade. And so Rocky wins the best picture. And I said, best newcomer. And I was like, he, Jesus. And he keeps staring at me and getting bigger and bigger. And, I'm like, <laughs> and then finally, he goes, best newcomer, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Go, Come on, no one's going to. It's a joke. No one has a name like that. <laughs> Over, flash in the pan. And then, uh, of course, I went, congratulations, hope you fail. Like, you know. <laughs> I didn't need the competition. Then Rocky won for Best Picture after it won for Best Director. And I jumped up like an idiot. I'll never forget. There was a bowl of flowers, you remember? And I, took, I said, I have to do something to get something, reaction out of this guy. And I throw the flowers up near that, land on his shoulders, and I was laughing all over the table, and he just went, oh my God. I could just hear him saying like, am I gonna cross pollinate this guy? So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we met the first time was at that Golden Globes Award. I remember it, uh, when you threw the flowers, and they, the, only, the only other reason why I remember it is because your mother came over to me, oh. uh, and she said to me, she said, you look like a piano mover. <laughs> Right after that, we did the, the Doom, the Doom. Uh, which yeah, we just finished that. movie, which we just finished uh, a few weeks ago, and so it has really been terrific. That's great. Really cool. Now we are able to do the films, and also it's great for me to be back again. You know, from uh, yeah. 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 some people that say your honor was gone from acting eight years. <laughs> I said, but well, there's other people like the critics that say he was never in acting in the first place. It's okay, right? We can handle it. Who can take it? That's great. And Terry, for you, I mean, making a movie like this, with the first one, did you know it was something special going in? I mean, did the lineup, no one quite knew what to make of it. No, I mean, um, you know, I remember getting the call and, and, and meeting Stein out in Beverly Hills. And again, I go into this dark room, we're like, hey, sit down. You know, you know, <laughs> and uh, he's like, I, I, I got the part, you know, and um, what was so nuts is, uh, you know, I knew it would be good. 
because I'm a fan, I'm just like you, I would have done anything to be in the entertainment industry. I was kind of on security and the whole thing. I would, if I wasn't on the stage, I would be out there. And to see what it became and that it unified a whole culture behind this Expendables. And, you know, I think, again, I think Expendables 2 is the, is the movie that Sly always wanted. I mean, it was a lot of, I mean, he, he literally broke his neck to make the first one. Uh, and now it's like to have Chuck and to have uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, uh, a female expendable in Yunnan, who's a Chinese superstar, and to add uh, the, uh, the youth injection with uh, Liam Hemsworth. Uh, it doesn't get any bigger, it doesn't get any better. That's great. Well, you know, all over the world people get to watch the movie stars here in Hall H and they get to ask questions of the movie stars. We got any questions out there? so much the fans out there. Yes. You guys have been I've tried 
trying to work out to answer this myself, and I just end up making a mess. What's up with the three CG shells? <laughs> <laughs> well, the way it was introduced, uh, explained to me is that you kind of know how chopsticks work. Oh. No say. Uh. Oh. That's the way it was explained to me. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, Rock. I think, you know, being away from home, 
working 12, 14 hour days, five, six days a week, uh, it, it's a grind. Uh, you know, I, I liken it to my experience in training camp for a fight, training 10 weeks, you know, twice a day, every single day to get ready for that night, to walk out and get in that cage. And uh, there's a similar mental and physical experience to making a movie. Uh, it takes focus and, and it, I think it takes a mental, mental mindset to kind of grind it out and, and stay sharp and be ready to go when you have to be ready to go. Thanks. Hello. Uh, my question is for the entire panel. If all five of you right now got in a fight, <laughs> and the trophies in the world belt. Uh, it, actually, it was amazing. When I would watch Randy in action, we were picking up stuntmen with, with bladders. I mean, it was amazing. <laughs> it, it was just picking them out of walls. He was airmailing guys in the brick walls six feet off the ground. I'm like, wow. Take it again. No, let's do another take. I said, oh my God. The guy's arm just fell off. <laughs> and he lost half his face. Do it again. Do it again. It was really amazing. He, he's, it's, I wouldn't want to tangle with him at all. He has a stuntman, it's, 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 he's the real deal. And, and by the way, I saw some of the outtakes with you, Terry. Oh my God. When you threw that guy into that, oh my God. He sits there. <laughs> he uses a guy's head as, as, as pretty much like, like a banjo. It was like, <laughs> banging it against, like playing a tune with it. It was unbelievable. I mean, that, the power that when you throw that guy against the pillar, and against the, the hay cart and basically knock the horse over. It's unbelievable. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty tough group up here. But Arnold, I wouldn't put anything past this dude. <laughs> Junior. He loves soccer. My mom will shoot. Because he gets away with this committed suicide. It's okay. Now, uh, actually, he's, he's done so many great ones, but I thought his, his, when he did Terminator 2, it was yeah. I have to say that, uh, you know, Sly was uh, very fortunate. I think we all were very fortunate to see such great franchises coming out from him, like Rocky, like Rambo, and now The Expandables. I don't know anybody, and I've looked at the history of movie making, there's no one that has come up with, with that many franchises and movies that each time and the, the sequel comes out is better and better and better and better. So I think that he could do another Rocky movie and uh, <laughs> pack the theaters. He could do another you know, uh, Rainbow no. and then he will pack the theaters. <laughs> it is really amazing. It's, it's, it's a talent. And I told him that, show, uh, that we've had many times you know, uh, great conversations during the shooting of the tomb because of uh, you know, enough time. But I told him that how incredible and how unique that really is. You know, they have three franchises like that. So I think that those are the movies that I enjoy the most. Thank you. And I think that it is really good. Thank you very much. But I think that well, one of the things that you should also know is, because I, it, it doesn't get enough play, but I mean, Sly is an, inc an extraordinary artist. You should see his paintings. No, it's true. And, 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 and I mean, think about it. You put that on the side, and he's getting hundreds of thousands of dollars for paintings. <laughs> Talk about it oh. because maybe the IRS. Yeah. But it's really amazing. The kind of I have one of his paintings, and I 
from the gave me for my birthday, uh, uh, I think it was two years ago. Right. And it is a, a really terrific work. I mean, I myself, I paint every so often and do drawings and all this, mostly for my kids, for my family. Uh, but uh, so I can really appreciate of how difficult it is to do this, this kind of work that he does. So I just wanted to congratulate him. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny, like, here we are, we've killed thousands of guys, but we're really painters. <laughs>